This is a standard question of percentage changes and combined with ratio. The salaries of three friends, Sita, Geeta and Meeta is 5 is to 6 is to 7. So let's say it is 5x, 6x, 7x respectively. In the first year, they get a salary hike of 20%, 25%, 20%. So in the first year, first one increases by 20%. So 20% increase, it will become 5x into 20% multiplying factor is 6 by 5. So it becomes 6x in the first year. This one increases by 25%. So 25% is 1 by 4. Multiplying factor would be multiplying factor would be 5 by 4. So it becomes 6x into 5 by 4. So 6 into 5, 30x by 4. 30x by 4 means 7.5x. So I'll write it as 15 by 2x. Okay. And the third one increases by 20%. So this one plus 20%. 20% means 6 by 5 multiplying factor. So 7x into 6 by 5. So it becomes 42 by 5x. So these are, after one year, these are the salaries. Now, in the second year, what happens? In the second year, who gets what? Sita gets salary hike of 40%. 40% means 2 by 5. So the salary will become 6x, you know, plus 40%. So multiplying factor, 40% itself is 2 by 5. So multiplying factor would be 7 by 5. 1 plus 2 by 5, that is 7 by 5 plus 40%. Okay, plus 40%. So it is 7 by 5. 6x into 7 by 5. So it is 42 by 5x. Oh, that is also that one. Anyways, that's just a coincidence. And Mita increases by... 25%. Meta increases by 25%. So plus 25%. So this should become 42 by 5x into 25% is 1 by 4. So the multiplying factor would be 5 by 4. So 5 and 5 cancel and we have 21 by 2x. So this is 42 by 5x and for 21 by 2x. Now what is the question saying? It is saying that the salary of Gita becomes mean salary of three friends mean salary of this, this and this. So basically eventually this will become the simple average of these two. Calculate the simple average of 42 by 5 x plus 21 by 2, 21 by 2 x. So simplify carefully, we have 5 and 2, 10, 5, 2, so 84 x plus 5, 105 x. So 84 plus 105, that is 189 by 10 x. 189 by 10x, right? This exactly is the situation. Is that making sense? No, it is not making sense at least for now because this looks like 189. So is there any calculation mistake that we have done? Just check. This is 6 by 5. So 7 into 6, 42 by 5. That is correct. Plus 25%. So 5 by 4. So 42 by 5 into 5 by 4. 5 by cancel. 42 by 4 is 21 by 2. That's quite obvious. So that is fine. Here also we have 5x, 20% increment 6x, 40% increment 6, 4 is 24. So 42.5. That is also looking fine. So why is there a trouble? We have 42 by 5x and 21 by 2x. We need to find 15 by 2 is 7.5. This is 18 was almost double it is happening. We want the salary hike of Gita 6x into 5. 6 into 5 is 30x by 4 that is 15 by 2 and this is 189 by 10. That is obviously, oh yes, I am so sorry. When you take average, when you take average you have to divide by 2 also, no? I'm so sorry. So this is 20. This is 20. So 189 by 20x. So from here to here, what is the percentage change? So suppose this is the initial value. This is the final value. For Gita, calculate final upon initial ratio. Okay. So xx cancel. We get 189 upon 20. 189 upon 20. Divide by 15 by 2. So simplify carefully, 189 by 20 into 2 by 15, okay. So as much as possible, you can simplify 3, 5 times, 3, 63 times, 2, 10 times. Perfect. So it is 63 divided by 50. 
this is final upon initial. So the incremental value is, you can see, from 50 to 63. So the incremental value is 13 over 50. So the percentage change in Gita in second year would be 13 upon 50 into 100. And that comes out to be 50 twice. 13 into 2 is 26%. Wow. So 26% option A is the correct answer. Right. Now this question says Gita sells two objects A and B at the same price such that the, she makes a profit of 20% on object A and a loss of 10% on object B. If she increases the selling price such that the object A and B are still sold at an equal price and a profit of 10% is made on object B, then the profit made on object A will be nearest to. Uh, there is a very innovative way of doing this question. I'll just share with you. Let's assume that the cost price of B is 100. So the selling price of B should be equal to 10% loss initially, right? There is a loss of 10% on B. So the selling price of B should be 100 minus 10% will be 10, so 90. So originally selling price of A should also be 90. But here on A, there was a profit of 20%. So if I assume cost of A as cost of A, into 20% profit, 20% profit would mean there was originally 20% profit that is 6 by 5 and that is equal to 90. And the 20% uh, profit multiplying factor would be 6 by 5. So from here, 6 cancels 90, 15 times 15, 5 are 75. So cost of A is 75. Right? Now what do we want? We want to change the selling price so that on B there is a 10% profit. So the new selling price of B should be how much? 10% profit on this, so 110. So selling price of A will also be 110. Okay. But cost price of A is still the same, 75. So on A, there is a profit of 35. So profit percentage of A will be 35 divided by 75 into 100. And that's how it will be very easily solved. So 35 into 4 is 140. 140 by 3, simplify carefully, it is... 46.66 percent 43 is our yeah 120 46.66 percent approximately 47 percent option b is the correct answer this one is a direct question it says arvind travels from town a to town b and surbi travels from town b to town a okay so a arvind starts from here and this is b surbi starts from here Okay, both starting at the same time along the same route. After meeting each other, Arvind takes six hours. Okay, so after meeting, suppose they meet here. This is the meet point. After meeting, Arvind takes six hours to reach town B. And after meeting, Surubhi takes 24 hours. Right, so let's say this is T1 and this is T2. Time taken by the first person, time taken by the second person. Right, so... Now, this is the situation of times after meeting to reach the destination. From here, we can directly find the ratio of the speeds, right? Speed ratio S1 is to S2. So, S1 is the speed of Arvind. S2 is the speed of Surbhi. S1 is to S2 should be equal to square root of T2 upon T1. There is a direct formula that we can apply for such situation. No need to go into the details, okay? So, from here, speed ratio we will get as square root of T2 is 24. T1 is 6. Right? Is that, that is what is given? Yes, 6 hours and 24 hours. 24 by 6 is 4. So root 4, that is 2. So 2 by 1. So the ratio of the speed is 2 is to 1. Now, Arvind travels at a speed of 54 kilometer per hour. So Arvind's speed is 54 kilometers per hour. Okay. So Surbi's speed should be 27 kilometers per hour. Right? That's it. So question is, what is the distance between A and B? Now you can calculate. Arvind takes 6 hours to do what? To travel this distance. So this distance should be equal to 6 into Arvind's speed. Arvind's speed is 54. So 6 into 54, 324 kilometers. Is that so? Check it again. 50 into 6 is 324. This distance is traveled by Surbhi in 24 hours. And Surbhi's speed is 27. So this distance should be equal to 24 into 27. So 576 plus 72, that is 648, 648 kilometers. Is that correct? 57, twos are 54, 12, correct. So 648 and 324 kilometers. So the total distance 
should be 648 plus 324. You could have also seen that the ratio of these two distances is equal to the ratio of speed, so 2 is to 1. So just calculate one distance and the double of that will be this one. Anyways, I mean, there are so many things that happen simultaneously, don't worry too much about it. 6 and 3, 972 kilometers. So answer of this question should be 972 kilometers. Okay, so that's also a very good question. The question says the amount of a job that Amal, Sunil and Kamal can do individually in a day are in harmonic progression. So basically amount in a day is speed. So speeds are in HP, harmonic progression. Okay. Kamal takes twice as much time as Amal to do the same amount of job. So basically if I assume that Amal, Sunil and Kamal if the time taken by them is x days, y days and z days, then their one day work would be 1 by x, 1 by y and 1 by z. That is in HP. Now, if there are terms in HP, you simply take inverse. If you take the inverse x, y, z, that should be in AP. Okay, that's the basic definition. So what do I know now? I know that x, y, z, they are in AP. That means y is equal to x plus z divided by 2. That is one relation that we already have. Also, Kamal takes twice as much time as Amal to do the same amount of job. Who? Kamal takes twice as much time as Amal. Fantastic. So z is equal to 2x. Z is equal to 2x. Wow. So y is equal to 2x plus x, 3x by 2. Fantastic. So we have the values of y and z both. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to remove y and z and in place of y we take 3x by 2. In place of z we take 2x. So 3x by 2 days and 2x days and just to make it clear now I'm going to remove this also because the job or, or the requirement of that statement is fulfilled now. We know the information that these are the times relation. Okay. Now, what else do we have? The other information is if Amal and Sunil work for 4 days and 9 days. So in 4 days, Amal will be able to do 1 by x into 4 part of work. In 9 days, Sunil will be able to do 3x by 2 days. So 2 by 3x is the work done in a day into 9, right? Respectively, Kamal needs to work for 16 days. So 16 into this is 2x days. So 1 by 2x part of work in a day into 16. So sum of all these parts of work should be equal to 1. This is what is important. Just simplify carefully. So 3 cancels 9 3 times. 2 cancels 16 8 times. So what we have is 4 by x plus 6 by x plus 8 by x. That is equal to 1. So 4 and 6, 10 and 8, 18 by x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 18. So x is 18, this is 18 days, so this will become 18 by 2, 9 into 3, 27 days, this will become 18 into 2, 36 days, we need for Sunil, Sunil takes 27 days, so answer of this question is 27 days, that's a good question. The question says Anil invests rupees 22,000 for 6 years in a certain scheme with 4% interest per annum, compounded half yearly, oh, so 4% rate? Compounded half yearly would mean 2% per half year, okay, and 6 years would mean 12 half years, oh, oh, so that means the amount received by Anil, amount received by Anil would be equal to principal amount 22,000 into 1 plus rate is 2 divided by 100 to the power 12, don't solve it, to the power 12, okay. Half yearly. Now, Sunil invests in the same scheme for five years and then reinvests the entire amount received at the end of five years for. Okay, so for Sunil, for the first five years, for Sunil, for the first five years, the interest is going to be, we know, don't know the principal amount. So here it is for Sunil, here it is for Anil. Okay, so P into 1 plus rate is same 2 by 100 and for him it is five years. Okay. Invest in the same scheme for 5 years and re so same scheme hai. so half yearly that means 10 periods so 5 years would mean 10 half years and then reinvest the entire amount received at the end of 5 years so this is the amount that is going to receive 
at the end of five years and this is reinvested in what it is reinvested at 10 percent simple interest okay so finally so if this amount if this amount is invested for one more year because the total duration is six years five years has already gone for him so for one year the yeah so after one year whether it is simple or compound this is the principal amount on that there is an interest that he's going to get 10 percent so his final amount is going to be simply final amount is simply going to be this amount p into 1 plus 2 by 100 to the power 10 on this 10 percent increment so on this 10 percent increment means multiplying factor 11 by 10 these are the two amounts this one and this one so these are the final amounts and they should be equal that is what the question is saying are same than the initial investment made by Sunil so equated so 22,000 into 1 plus 2 by 100 1 plus 2 by 100 let it be first of all to the power 12 is equal to p into 1 plus 2 by 100 to the power 10 into 11 by 10 now interestingly if you see 1 plus 2 by 100 to the power 10, 1 plus 2 by 100 to the power 12. So power 10 will be cancelled and we will be left with also this 11 cancels 22,000 as 2,000 into 10 is 20,000 into 1 plus 2 by 100 whole square. Okay, that is equal to P and that's it. Finished. 10 has already gone there. 11 has already cancelled and 1 plus 2 by 100 to the power 10 is cancelled from here. So what we have is 20,000. So P is equal to 20,000 into, don't cancel 2 and 100. Take it as 102 upon 100. The square will become 10404 divided by 10,000. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 is cancelled. 10404 into 2 is 20808. This is the amount invested initial by Sunil. Right. This is what we asked. So answer to this question is 20,808. So more than this calculation, it needs your patience check. Right. So nothing to worry. There is no great calculation. It's just that you had to be a little careful and yeah, just complete the process. Right. So answer is 20,808. This one is an easy question. It says in a right angle triangle ABC, the altitude AB is 5 centimeter. The base BC is 12 centimeter. P and Q are two points on BC such that the areas of ABP, ABQ and ABC are in arithmetic progression. Okay. If the area of triangle ABC is 1.5 times the area of ABP, the length of PQ in centimeter. Very simple process. We have to draw the situation first. This is right angle triangle ABC. AB is equal to 5. BC, this whole length is equal to 12. P and Q are two points on BC. So this is P this is q right Achha. then there is another information that says area of abc is 1.5 times area of abp it's very easy to calculate area of abc that will be half into base into height this is triangle abc area that is 60 by 2 which is 30 and this is 1.5 times area of triangle abp so from here we will also get triangle ABP area as 30 divided by 1.5, 15, 2 are 30, so 20. So this area is 20. And this 20 should be equal to, look at that triangle ABP is 20. So area should be half into base is BP, okay, into height is 5. So 20 to do 40 by 5, that is 8. So BP length is 20. Uh, sorry, BP length is 8, BP length this much is 8. There is another thing that we have to understand. The area of triangle ABP and ABQ and ABC are in arithmetic progression. So we already have ABP 20, ABC 30. So a triangle ABQ area, because it is arithmetic progression, it will be the simple average of 20 and 30. So 20 plus 30 divided by 2, which is 25. Now look at the triangle ABQ, focus on triangle ABQ, right, ABQ, the area of that triangle will be half into base BQ, okay, 
into the height 5 and that should be equal to 25. So 5 cancels 25 5 times. We have BQ length is equal to 5 into 2 that is 10. So BQ, BQ means this entire length is 10. We need PQ. So you see this PQ is BP, uh, BQ minus BP. PQ is BQ minus BP. Right? So BQ is 10. BP is 8. So 10 minus 8 that is 2 centimeters. So answer of this question is 2. Okay. This question says the number of all natural numbers up to 1000 with non-repeating digits. Natural numbers are starting from 1 up to 1000. So we will have one digit numbers. So one digit numbers, no problem. All of them will be counted. Nine numbers straight away. Two digit numbers. See, what are the digits that we are going to use? We are going to use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Right? All these numbers. So there are 10 such digits and we have to fill two places. Both the places should be filled by different digits, non-repeating digits. First place cannot be filled by zero. So nine ways. Second place can be filled by all of them. No, one of them which is already gone there cannot be used. So nine into nine, that means 81 numbers, right? Three digit numbers, three digit numbers. Now what happens? The first place can be filled in nine ways. Zero cannot come. The second place can be filled in 9 ways and the third place can be filled in 8 ways. So we have 9 into 9 into 8. 81 into 8 that is 648 numbers. Right. So what should be the total number of numbers? 81 plus 9 is 90. 648. So 648 plus 90. So 8 here, 4 and 9, 13, 6 and 1, 7. So there are total 738 numbers with non-repeating digits. Option D is the correct answer. The question says, a lab experiment measures the number of organisms at 8 a.m. every day, starting with two organisms on the first day. The number of organisms on any day is equal to three more than twice the number on the previous day. Okay. If the number of organisms on the nth day exceeds 1 million, then the lowest possible value of n is. So you see, on first day, suppose we have A. On the second day, we will have, according to the situation, A into 2 plus 3. On the third day, we have this into 2. So 2 square into A plus 2 into 3 plus 3. Note it carefully. On the fourth day, we have 2 cube A plus 2 square, you know, we are multiplying the entire thing by 2. So 2 square into 3 plus 2 into 3 plus 3. What did I do? I just multiplied this entire thing by 2 and then added 3. And this will go on. And by now, I think we can see that nth day, you see, on the nth day, what are we going to have? On fourth day, 2 to the power 3. Third day, 2 to the power 2. So on nth day, it will be 2 to the power n minus 1 a plus all these numbers you see 2 square so on fourth day it is 2 square on third day it is 2 to the power 1 so on nth day it is going to be 2 to the power n minus 2 okay into 3 plus 2 to the power n minus 3 into 3 and the last term is going to be 3 so what it means is if i take 3 common so this is 2 to the power n minus 1 a plus if i take 3 common what do i get i get you know starting from here 1 plus 2 plus 2 square and so on. I'm just writing this first and this as the last. The last term would be 2 to the power n minus 2. And again, this is a point of mistake. How many terms are there? There are only n minus 1 terms. Be careful. It is starting from 2 to the power 0, going to 2 to the power n minus 2. That means n minus 1 terms. And this is a geometric progression. First term is 1, common ratio is 2. So add that, you will get 2 to the power n minus 1 into a plus 3 into a is 1 into the formula for geometric equation is a into r to the power n minus 1. So 2 to the power r to the power n that is n minus 1. The number of terms is n minus 1. So 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 1 divided by r minus 1 that is 2 minus 1. Now a also is given 2. So multiply 2 here. So 2 to the power n minus 1 into 2. Okay. Plus 
थ्री इंटू टू टू द पावर एन माइनस वन माइनस वन वाह सो दिस बिकम्स टू टू द माइनस वन इंटू टू इज टू टू द पावर ओ राधर देन दैट ओके या आई थिंक इट्स पुटी सिंपल नाउ डोंट मल्टीप्लाई ओपन इट इफ यू ओपन इट यू गेट टू टू द पावर एन माइनस वन कॉमन and here from you get 2 and from here you get 3 and 3 into minus 1 is minus 3 so it is 5 into 2 to the power n minus 1 minus 3 now this value has to be x has to exceed 1 million 1 million means 10 lakh 1 million means 10 lakh okay so just put the values of n yeah if i put n equal to 17 16 okay if i put n equal to 16 this will become 2 to the power 15 oh that is very less if i put n equal to 20 this will become 2 to the power 19 to the power 19 is 5 to 4 288 to 5 lakh into 5 25 lakh so we need lesser if i put n equal to 19 this will become 2 to the power 18 2 to the power 18 is just calculate carefully 26 144 so 5 into 262144 minus 3 is not important so 262000 into 5 that will definitely be more than 10 lakh so 19 is definite 20 was too high so if i check n equal to 18 it will be 2 to the power 17 2 to the power 17 is 131072 so 5 into 131072 all right this is 1 lakh 31000 into 5 will not cross 10 lakh so this is the situation and that is n equal to 19 so the lowest possible value of n is basically just put the values of n and check as simple as that right so 19 should be the answer 19 is the answer of this question